Uh, collaborating with other teachers I find super beneficial because there are too many times where students have disconnects, so like real world applications or other class. And so I look at something that I've learned, like a kid, a kid has learned in math class, they've learned some algebra, and then they come and do an equation and, or they graph in science class and they're like, oh, this is how it works, that didn't make sense to me before. And I think part of that is when we collaborate with other uh, content areas, it becomes more authentic. Kids realize like, hey, this matters not only in science class, but in government or in math or maybe in my, um, you know, my chemistry or physics class as well. And it, it makes all those connections and, and it becomes, um, they get a lot of reinforcement through varying teachers as well. Or we can kind of use each teacher's forte as well. Well, one teacher might be better at explaining things, another teacher might be better at showing, or maybe um, coming, generating ideas of how to fix problems is when the kids are you know, troubleshooting, trying to brainstorm and make solutions for their issues that they're having with their project. Um, but I think a lot of it too is realizing that life isn't categorized into five or four different mm -hmm. subjects. Life is you know, you go from one idea to the next idea to the next idea where everything intertwines, you know. And so I think if we can teach kids that now, when they get into life, they're ready. So if they're applying for a job, they're using their science knowledge that they have, they might be using their math knowledge and finance and, and all of that as well. They're also using their employability skills. Uh, maybe they're using their government things. They gotta understand what background checks are and, and that sort of thing. And so it, it comes around full circle and becomes a real world situation that they're starting to learn about now rather than later in life. I'm Jennifer and I teach plant and animal biotechnology and ag food and natural resources. I'm Chris and I teach government. And I'm Anton and I teach plant and animal biotechnology as well. Project Terra is a project that explains how food um, goes from farm to table. So essentially what we did was we took the idea of a marble run, uh, you know, like with the ramps and the gears and all those different things, and decided we would start with food at the top and then work our way all the way down to waste at the bottom and all the different facets in which we entry, including like government regulation. Yeah, we wanted to try to make um, an example of this through the marble run. And then when we came up with this idea, we looked back and saw what sort of standards fit into this, which in plant and animal biotechnology, it's a huge strand through the whole course. And then as we partnered with Chris in the government class, as we brainstormed this and decided to work together, we realized there was a ton of government standards when we talked about food regulation and, and lobbying and um, all sorts of government agencies that work along with food industry in order to make those connections. So, uh, in collaborating with Career Tech, we can do a lot of things that we traditionally couldn't do inside a government classroom. Typically, government is just kind of content delivery and listening. This isn't your normal government class. So, instead, what we can do is we can build things out of wood, as simple as that sounds, or weld things, or you know, watch marbles go down, or whatever. And also, obviously, we can bring in a lot of science and a lot of things we don't typically talk about in schools, like food. Like, there's something very interesting about knowing that how fast food industry works, for example, is obviously incredibly important to government regulation. It's not just the FDA. The FDA does everything. Uh, so it's, it's very interesting to look and see how everything kind of connects together in one seamless uh, class.